Hey everybody, uh, this is Tina. I want to tell you a dream that I had this morning, or last night. Um, it's about um, the parable of the ten virgin. It's it's comparable to the um, the ten virgin. Okay, these ten virgin uh, represent Christian. Five are wise and five are foolish. Okay, um, in the dream, I was so in the beginning, I was in like a cruise ship, supposedly in Noah's Ark, and somehow I I was asleep and. Um, my sister and I decided to branch out, and we uh, uh, got into this one, uh, like a speeding boat or a motorboat or whatever. But it's a bed, and I was sleeping, and she was, you know, driving and stir, uh, you know, stirring me. I mean, driving and steering me into another direction. I was like, okay, let's go here, ha let's have fun. And then when I when I got there and just see, you know, hang out, whatever, I realized, oh my goodness, I'm in Florida, and I know in my gut that Florida is one of the states that is going to be affected by this big tsunami. And I'm like, oh, snap, the flood is coming. Disaster is coming. I better start get my butt back into the, the boat and get to safety. Okay, the, the boat represents the rapture, you guys. Um, So basically, I was um, it became dry land, and I had like a motorcycle. I was driving. I had this beam, okay? Uh, the 10 virgin, they're talking about the lamp with the oil. I had this this device that looked like uh it really represent the the lamp in the parable of the ten virgin i was holding this lamp i, I was holding this um device it is like this and in front of it, it was like a ball like this it is, it's, it's kind of unique looking but out of it it shoot a beam uh, like um, a laser light to guide me which direction the boat is at so i can head back there to safety and so while i was going back there I, w I saw like a booth where people was selling the same device I have. So I was checking out the that that booth. They sell it. But um okay, this booth I knew these these are like a rip off, you know. These are like the fake. Okay. Supposedly I have the the real Louis Vuitton and this is like the fake Louis Vuitton. Basically, I had the legit GPS that that light device whatever. It was actually supposed to be a compass or a GPS kind of thing to show me back home, which is the lamp, the lamp for my feet. And um, I knew mine was the legit. They were selling some fake phony stuff that a lot of people was buying. And um, I was like, and it, it breaks super easy. It, it kind of looked like mine, but smaller, but really crappy looking. And, um, you know, they were just trying to imitate the real thing, but they couldn't like it. Okay, this booth is represent um, man tradition, tradition, religion. They were selling religion. They were basically selling uh, religion, and everybody was buying religion and tradition of man. Okay, mm -hmm. and I had this legit tool that I just automatically had from somewhere. Okay, I didn't have to buy it. It was given to me. Okay, um, it just I got it. You know, I didn't have to purchase it or anything. It just I just it was given it was like a gift okay and so basically I you know I was like I, I didn't need to buy another one because mine's the expensive kind I don't need to buy the phony kind you know and so they were basically selling a lot of people know God through tradition and um, religion of man where they should be seeking God uh, seeking God and the Holy Spirit off themselves you know and have the legit stuff and uh, I'll get in deep into that. And then, and then I was, you know, I, I forgot that. And then I went to another booth, you know, well, I was looking at my device. It came with a test battery. Okay. And, um, that battery was running really low. Like my light was running really low. My oil and lamp and the battery was running really low. And I was like, man, I better get some more. Uh, but in the bottom, it had like a spot, a spot for the double A battery. I was like, and it was empty. I was, I was like, man, I should get some more batteries in case um, this one run out. And if, if this light comes out and I don't have battery, I am totally lost. Totally. Like, my, this informed that I will be lost in the world. I will be like a lost gray sheep kind of situation. And so um, I didn't have any money on me, okay? I, I would say time is money, money is time. And so I didn't have any what God is saying, there's no time left. We have absolutely no time left. I was saved about two years ago, okay? 
for me not having any time left and if you guys get saved today there's zero time left okay i think the mark and everything has gone but as long as you're breathing you still have time okay but um you know how god can tell the future everything is done and sealed and everything is decided you know i have a feeling very that god have decided and put the mark on people already now uh that's why god said let the wicked be wicked and let the the hum let the righteous be righteous so whatever you are you're either going to progress or you're going to get worse from this moment okay from this moment you know i think that um so i didn't have any time left i i didn't have any money means time is money and i didn't have any time left there's no more time so what i could only do in that time was depend trust faith and hope that this device that came with the the small circle battery would last me enough to get to the boat and i had a very strong feeling that it would get enough but it would be so dim but i it's even though it's dim but i know which direction to head back and so um i feel really confident that um i will find my way back with that little it, you know how in the beginning of the, the the race, we always came strong and then at the end, we're like really tired. That, that's where everybody's at. You know, once they're reborn, they're like, oh, so enthusiastic for Lord. And once you run the race, you get really tired. Okay, you got to keep going. Got to keep buying the oil from Jesus. Jesus, the, uh, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit is the oil provider for the lamp. Okay. Um, he, okay, with God, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. With God, if you get knowledge, understanding, and strength from a God, from God, you will not fail. But if you rely that on religion and tradition and doctrine on your own term, you will fail. You will be the foolish virgin. So what do you do? Start seeking the Lord more. Start talking to Him more. Start praying. Start asking Him for stuff. Don't assume that you're going to make it in the rapture. Ask and seek what else are you missing? Lord, what else am I missing? What else should I be doing? You know, like just to make sure that you got the legit tool and you don't have the tradition of man that you think you got the legit one, which you got the phony crappy stuff. So all I'm telling you guys is Jesus, Father, this Father, Son, Holy Spirit, their word is the, the light for your path. Okay. Righteousness. But if, if you don't have God, okay which directs you in your path, you know, your personal tour, personal teacher, personal uh, priest, okay? He should be the only one teaching you, okay? Beside him, nobody else should be teaching you, okay? I mean, he will lead you to certain people. He'll lead you to certain video. He'll lead you to certain scripture. But you let the spirit lead. You don't let your flesh lead, okay? That's one thing people, they just do it on their own term, and they don't let the spirit lead. They're like, okay, I'm just going to find out the Lord. And then they just, they just do research and this and that. No, that's not how it works. It starts all with a pray. God, God was telling me praying is the key to heaven. Okay, when you're praying, you're repenting. You're asking and uh, you're, uh, you're receiving when you're praying, okay? Like, um, like instead of, okay, if you have like um, something you don't know, right? Instead of searching for the answer about God, you go straight to this is the this is the wise. I'm talking about the wise virgin, okay? You go straight to Jesus. Jesus, I don't know this. This is how it is to have a personal relationship because God still speaks. Another person they'll they'll like, oh, let me research. No. What you do is you pray, Lord, what's going on? Is this true? Start talking to him like you and I are talking. That's how we have personal relationship. But you have to have trust and faith that he's gonna answer you. Check out my video about how to pray. Okay, when you start knowing how to pray correctly, okay, that, you know, forsake your, forsake everything, uh, forsake the, everything of this world and follow after righteousness, then God will come to you. Uh, unless you can forsake this world and walk in righteousness, he, if you're not making an effort, okay, I know the step to him is hard, but he can help you. He can help you in this walk because you're very vulnerable with this walk. But if you have his power and strength and knowledge, you will overcome like Jesus overcome. You will overcome too. So all I'm telling you is start asking God for knowledge. Father, God say people perish for the lack of knowledge. So what do you do? 
Father, give me knowledge and wisdom about you. Don't let me be deceived because you know the devil likes to deceive people. Ask the Lord that he keep you from deceivement, okay? Ask him that you're found worthy to escape all things that's coming upon this earth. Ask him to write your name in the book of life. These are some really important um, factors that you need to pray for and you got to be concerned that your name must be in the book of life and that you become a reborn and that you have the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth. He's going to throw truth at you and it's going to be very bitter. It's going to be very hard to do. But what do what you do when you um, stubble? Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. Okay. Don't, don't deny his help. Okay. We got to be humanity and brokenness for him to come. But if we're pride and we think we know it all, he ain't going to come. We ain't going to be educated. So always go in the prayer with the right attitude. Okay. That's all I want to tell you on, you know, be wise, be a wise virgin and ask and seek the Lord about every curiosity, every question, every knowledge, every understanding from the Lord. He does still speak. Okay. He might give you a dream. He might speak to you audibly. He might give you confirmation. He might send somebody. I don't know. But when the Lord speaks, you'll know he's speaking. Okay? If you are just doing it on your own term, because when you know when God speaks, you'll know it. You know? But if you're just searching this out on your own term, going to a priest, going to somebody else, go, no. You don't do this on your own term. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people, they're Bible experts. But they're not God expert, okay? Bible expert is they can research about God and the um, doctrines. They know up and down the thing, but they really don't know God. How do we know God? We start talking and praying and fasting and seeking the Lord. That's how we get to know the Lord. Not through the things of this world because God will never deceive us. God will give us a 100% answer where humanity can only give us 99% answer. That 1%, a blind person, blind person can lead you into a pit of hell, okay? Just remember that. So don't rely on your understanding. Seek God. Ask God, what's going on, Lord? What's this? What's that? Help me, Lord. This. That's how you have a personal com uh, communication relationship with the Lord. Though That's the path. But if when God tells you something and you do it, that light becomes brighter. It's that when you, God tells you something hard to do and you reject it, that light becomes dimmer. When you start obeying God and everything he tells you to do, that light just gets stronger and more powerful. His presence will be with you like all the time. When you obey him, when you call upon him, he'll be there. Like I'm not even kidding with you. I'm not saying that I have it all, but as as much as I know what God is telling me is I got the legit stuff and I need to increase my life. That's what it is. And and so, um, you know, with the phony one, it can only, it you know, with tradition and religion and Bible, they can lead you so far. Okay? The, the tool is crappy. You know, the, the phony stuff. The phony, they can lead you so far before they break. Okay? They can only provide you so much help before it it's, there's no cut and there's no rescue but with God okay you got everything you know when you got God you got everything so I'm just telling you get God today get saved today okay ask him to come in your life and change you into a new creature unless you are reborn you're not going to get it heavens and forsake this world the gate is very narrow and we need to make it home that's it bye